Hello everyone. Today, let's learn how to use PoE powered switches to expand our transmission range. First of all, let's take a look what's PoE. PoE is the technology to transmit both power and data through one single Ethernet cable. It's really convenient, but although due to the IEA 02.3 protocol, the transmission distance is normally limited to 100 meters. If we want to break that barrier and go over 100 meters, we would need the help of some other devices. In this case, the PoE powered switch is a good choice. The PoE powered switch is a really unique device. It can act as both power sourcing equipment and power device. So this is like a hybrid device. In one way, it will receive the power and data, the PoE signal from our main power source and data center, and then it will use it to power itself and then the remaining power data, it will send it to other IP devices connected to it. So you can think of it as a midway station. And the best part is, since it uses PoE signal, the power from there to power itself up, it doesn't need an extra power source. But you all, we always give you an extra option, like right here we have a DC port, you can use a DC adapter to power it as well. So you can take a look at this little middle box. Is this, it's like a normal PoE switch, which it does have PoE switch functions, but it's better because it can work out in the field without using extra power sources. This one port here, you can see the front panel, the ports are divided into two groups. These four are the PoE ports, which I'll put power and data. And this one is the uplink port, which will receive the power and data from our main power source and data center. So this one, this way is to go in, these four are to go out. Really easy to understand. Also, you can see there are fans on the side and a grounding spot and the metal casing. The fans and the metal casing will help it to cool down easily. And the grounding spot is because of the metal casing, we have a way of protecting our device. And also this is supporting gigabits transmission. So the bandwidth is like a thousand megabits per second. And the whole power budget for this little dude is 65 watts. So for four ports, 65 watts, we have like uh, around 10 watts at the, re at the end device. So it's pretty much enough to power some IP cameras. And sometimes you can use it to connect to like laptops, non-POE devices, which only use the data transmitted to it. Now I'm going to show you guys how to connect one of these to our using an IP camera. And then we will connect the wireless access point as well. Because one of these can connect to all four different IP devices. It is really good, really convenient. It expands our distance and our ethernet ports at the same time. So right now, usually imagine we have a PoE and VR here and we want to set up a mini little network center about 100 meters away from here. So we use this PoNVR and then we will be able to connect our IP devices to that instead of pulling all the way back to our PoNVR. So here is our wireless access point. Now first I'm going to connect our PoE powered switch to our PoNVR. You can see the indicators are on. This means there's power and data going through currently. And now, since it is powered up, I will connect it to our IP camera and our wireless access point. So one ethernet cable to the camera. Now our camera is powered up. We'll give it time to self-diagnosis first. And then this is our wireless access point. You can see there, the indicators are on, meaning the power has go, gone through it as well. It's really convenient. And now you can see there is an image on our screen. And I'll wave my hand in front of the camera to let you guys see it is a live video feed. All right, so we can say this connection is really successful. And you guys can see it was really easy. You just plug every Ethernet cable in the right place and ta-da, it is all going through. Now, another thing, if four ports is not enough, you can always choose 
an 8 port PLE powered switch. You can see this one is a little bit bigger than this and it has a power source on the outside because 8 ports we might have to support more power. Sometimes we will use a power source as well for us out here. And for the 8 port PLE powered switches there is one thing you have to remember the, mo the most important thing is port number 8 is the uplink port. So number 8 is just has the same feature, the same meaning as this uplink port. The power and data from our main power source and data center goes here. Then it will have the ability to power this thing up and give it to all the other 7 ports. So port 1 to 7, you can use any of these for any kind of IP devices you want. But port number 8, it needs to connect back to our main power source. And other, everything else, this 8 port PoE power switch uh, supports PoE++ standard. So this one has a higher power budget, goes all the way to, to 95 watts. And otherwise, everything else, it's the, it also supports gigabit bandwidth and also has metal casing for cooling down. And it has a DIN rail rack so we can easily like install it on a DIN rail which will make our setups clear, more e tidy. Alright, that's pretty much for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.